Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and this is gonna be the first graphics card of the lot that were sent by a uh, sent in by a fan of the channel um, and yeah so this is the 7870 or 7850 I wasn't really entirely sure what it is um, and yeah basically we're gonna do some troubleshooting like I did with the two 7970s I hope this video is gonna end uh, I, I with the other two videos, I really wasn't satisfied. Like, yeah, I got one of the cards working, but I didn't really do anything. I just washed it, and the other one, um, I, I I got the wrong lead and then damaged the card further than it was before and basically made things worse. So I hope this one um, will go a bit better. So, yeah, we're going to start troubleshooting. And the first thing we're going to do is just measure our resistances. And we're like... Uh, yeah, measure resistance. I'm gonna set the multimeter into beep mode, so if the probes touch through anything, there's gonna be a long continuous beep like that. And we're gonna test our main power plane. So, okay, the casing of this DVI port should be uh, ground. And then this six pin, the upper one should be ground, so we should get a beep. We're getting a beep. And then the lower one, a, sh a short beep is okay, a long beep is bad. So it doesn't look like our six pin is shorted. Then we should check our power from the PCI Express slot. Now I don't like probing the pins directly because I'm, uh, I always think I'm gonna get things wrong. So I usually like to uh, use the capacitors. So you can kind of see this power plane right here. So these would be the 12 volt pins, but I'm like to probe the capacitor because that one I can be sure is uh, 12 volts. And then this one, this power plane and these two capacitors on this side should be 3.3 volts. So I like um, probing these. Okay, so... Okay, the, the right side should beep, because that's ground. And then the left side shouldn't beep, which it doesn't, which is good. Now let's check 3.3 volts. That looks good as well. So double check, yep, that side is ground. Alright, so our major power planes are not shorted. So, um, let's check our minor rails then. So, I am not entirely sure what every weld on this is. This is the first time I work with one of these cards, but I'm fairly sure. Well, basically, the, if, if nothing's like super dead, uh, we're gonna see from the resistances. I'm like, this is gonna be V-Core, these four phases. And then one of these two is gonna be V-Mem, and the other one is gonna be VDDCI. Um, I am not sure which one is which, and then down here we have what is either going to be PEX or I am actually not sure. Does this have a 1.8 volts rail? It should have one. There's a 5 volt LDO up here. Um, there are some inductors over here and what looks like could be a one phase PWM controller. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure if this one has a 1.8 volts rail. Like, this could be 1.8 volts. Right? Like, one of these is input filtering for the 6 pin, the other one is an output inductor for 1.8 volts. Um, but yeah, uh, we're basically gonna see if we try to turn the card on, or we're gonna find a shot on one of the other major uh, power planes. So, I always shoot this ground, so I'm just using that. And let's check the output. There's a metal tab on the side of these inductors, so I'm gonna use that to measure resistance. And our V-Core looks good. At, oh, you can't actually see that. There we go. V-Core looks good. Uh, 5.4 ohms. That looks pretty good. Uh, I think I'm just gonna turn the card like this. So core looks good. Uh, okay, these other inductors are through hole and not accessible from the front. So the upper inductor, 180, okay, this looks like it's memory then. And then this one should be slightly lower if it's not shorted. Yeah, 60. Okay, that should be VDDCI then, I think. Um, all right. And let's check this little inductor, which I think should be our PEX rail. 100 ohms. Okay, so none of these are completely shorted. Let's try the 5 volt LED. Oh, I f always forget which one's the output. The middle one should be ground. Yeah, that's ground. 
This one should be... Let's just check which one is hooked up to 12 volts. So do we have 0 ohms here? Yeah, that's hooked up to 12 volts. So this is the output. And... Yeah, it's it's not shorted. Like, it's probably in a couple kilo ohms. Yeah, it's 10 kilo ohms. So 5 volts is also not shorted. Um, let's check one of these outputs. Let's check if one of these is hooked up to 12 volts. Okay, that's a bit high. No, okay, it was just my problem. Okay, so the upper inductor here is connected to, is 12 volt input filtering. But what's with this inductor? Because that's not, okay, that's probably an output then. That, sh that could be a 1.8 volts rail. And it doesn't look like it's shorted. It looks okay. This has a really high resistance, does it? Yeah, 14, 13, okay, I'm probably charging up some capacitors by measuring, which is why the resistance is bumming around, but that's like, not shorted. Okay, um, so I've, there's no super obvious electrical problem here, which basically means it's time to turn the card on um and see what it does it could turn on um and like show artifacts which would be a heat gun problem which is kind of sad to do because that's never like that's a temporary fix it's never a permanent one but at least the card works for a bit and when i'm benching things i usually don't run them for hours on end so heat gun cards like so far none of them have dropped dead uh, have permanently dropped dead on me um, so even if this, is a, if this is a heat gun card, I'm probably gonna bench this still. <laughs> um, but the other scenario of what could happen here is that um, most of the things turn on, but we see like one rail where there's not enough voltage or no voltage at all. And then we have our issue. And then we would go into more troubleshooting steps trying to narrow down what the issue is. Um, like. Uh, like let's say our v core is missing and then we would check if the v core PLRM controller up here is like getting power or if it if it's if it has a power good signal or if anything else is missing so yeah uh, that would be the multimeter troubleshooting part for the 7870 um, kind of worried because we didn't find an issue here, which means this could be a heat gun card, which, as I said, is never permanent fix. However, for like benching, it's probably okay. Um, but yeah, I I would rather just have like a PEX rail that doesn't work, because that's easy to fix. That's my favorite kind of problem because it's an easy fix and it's a permanent fix that's like more or less reliable. So. Yeah, that would be it for the uh, multimeter part for this card. And we're then gonna go on to the next part, which is turning the card on and see what happens. So, here we have the card actually working. So, <laughs> this is the second case of just wash the card and it works. So, um, yeah, so the card works. Here it is. Uh, it has the Morpheus heatsink on it because, yeah, I, I got all of these cards without the heatsinks. But that's the card in the system. Uh, it got detected. It is actually a 7850 because the 7870 would have would have had around 1200 cores. So with anything, that means it's going to be easier to cheese a HW board with this and modded mem timings. But yeah, so basically, um, when we checked for shorts on this, we couldn't find anything. And I then put it in off camera in the test system once, uh, held my finger to the core, and once the system was posting, I actually felt how the core was getting cold. So I was expecting that there would be some issue with the PWM controller for the VRM, but at that point I decided to clean all of the cards uh, anyway, and so I also cleaned this one. Uh, I then uh, dried them off with a heat gun, uh, so I don't, wouldn't have to wait an entire day for them to dry. 
And then I just put this one back in because I wanted to do some voltage measurements, uh, find out why, uh, like, if VCore core is actually shutting down. But while I was doing that, I noticed the Windows loading screen. So, yeah, this is the second time this has happened. Uh, just cleaning the card made it work again. And there is a chance that when I was drying the card with the heat gun, this could potentially have been enough to thermoshock the core back to life. However, I don't think it was the heat gun first, because I felt the core was getting cold before, which means the vCore VRM was shutting down. Second, there was no this picture at all. Usually cards that heat come back to life artifact, and you do get a picture, but this one just didn't get a picture. So, yeah, I, I think this one actually just by cleaning it, or more like washing it, I, I just put the cards in, uh, in the sink, uh, clean them off with a toothbrush and then dry them uh, with a heat gun. Um, this is not a proper way to clean them, there are more legit ways to do it, but this is how I do it and it has always worked. Um, like, I've, it never caused damage, let's say that. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> this card is now working. Um, and you can see, yeah, everything is running just fine. Um, so, yeah, uh, Another video where I really didn't do a lot uh, to, to get the car working, but yeah, it's working nonetheless. I'm happy about this car working, and I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye.